Hey y'all, welcome back to the Station Bakery and welcome if you're new. So today is baking day. I have quite a few orders that I'm working on and I'm just trying to prep ahead so everything doesn't fall onto me at the last minute. Y'all know how it is. Y'all know how it is. So your girl is trying to be productive and proactive and whipping up these cakes. I have everything over here already prepped out. I am going to start off with this. I'm just gonna be half vanilla, half chocolate. So let's take all of our ingredients and get to mixing. Cake number one, let's go. I don't know why I'm so excited today about baking. I don't know, I guess I just feel good that I already have it pre-sectioned out. So I have one, two, three, four. I have four of the cakes and batches in the oven and out of the oven. And I just have one more of my chocolate cake to mix up. Then we're gonna wrap these up until later in the week. This is the last batch. And when I'm done with this, I am done for the day. Um, but I am so happy because I've been able to not only record this video, but I've also been able to record a couple of reels of the process. Killing two, three, four, five birds with one stone, which is always great, you know, when you're trying to be more efficient in your business. Once those come out, then I'll start working on this last batch of chocolate cake, and then your girl will be done for the day. At least with that, I think I might do a little bit of video editing, a little bit of um, social media time, and, you know, just thinking through some more tutorials for you all, so, yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm out. So this is what we have here. These are the eight inch cakes for um, one of my cakes. That's half of the cake. And then we're gonna have two chocolate layers that I'm getting ready to make, but that's that. And then over here, this is my Funfetti. Um, that one kind of crumbled coming out of the pan, but it's all good because that wasn't going to be a part of the cake. Anyways, I'm making a short stack. So it'll be like one and a half of these layers and then this extra cake will go towards like some cake pop tutorials and cake sickle tutorials and fun stuff like that. So nothing here is going to go to waste. And then in the oven, I have, oh, hello. In the oven, I have two big sheet cakes. One is going to be again for, you know, for me to use for like a lot of different tutorials for cake pops, cake sickles, also a cake that I'm getting ready to build and create probably next week i'll probably work on that next week because this week is pretty loaded with the order so i'll but I, I just wanted to go ahead and get that baked up so i can already have it ready so i can just take it out and get to stacking and building and decorating so make sure that y'all are staying tuned to my channel for all of these goodies and we're just gonna live this thing out and see how it goes
so here's what the cake looks like. This is um, our taste test pieces. Yum, yum, yum. My last bakes are out of the oven. Y'all, this day, it was a lot more than I expected and it took a lot longer than I expected. But finally, here we are at the end of a day full of baking, but there's still so much to clean. I have pans, bowls, everywhere. <laughs> so your girl still has to clean up this kitchen. Y'all know what it's like. Y'all y'all know you get done baking and you wanna sit down and kick up your feet and rest and relax, but no, you can't because your kitchen is destroyed. Well, anyways, thank y'all for joining me and maybe you'll see me in a cleaning video next.